Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about, oh, room resolution. Well, I'm harping on room resolution again. The reason I do this is because I talk to a lot of people every day, 20, 30, 40 people a day sometimes. And I, we talk about the same things, obviously, and, and I ask questions all the time and about their level of understanding. And Resolution is not something people really have a, a handle or a grip on, and it's everything in a room. Getting the highest resolution you can in the room is really the ultimate success. Gear, uh, amps and speakers and all that, that's great. That you need energy producing sources, but you hear the room. You need the energy, but you got to get through the room first, because the room's like this passive filter between you and your ears, right? So you got to treat that filter, make sure it works when it's supposed to and notches out only what it has to, right? Okay. Low frequency management in the four walls. It's about doing, of course, a lot of things, but more importantly, in the proper order. And you got to start with the low frequencies first. You just have to. So we have the four walls, floor to ceiling. Don't have to forget about Floor to ceiling, side wall, side wall, and then the long, right? So we got 3D. Think of three sound fields, 3D. Usage is always pressure and reflections, okay? Our footprint is ID, internal, and OD dimensions. You have to look at both dimensions, the big footprint and what's left after treatment. Tre treatment can take 12 to 16 inches on each surface area. So the ID dimension and the OD will be drastically different. Especially in Alaska, I just work working on a project in Alaska. There are BTU walls 12 inches thick. Well, it's minus 70. So they got to insulate. So we got treatment on top of that. Thank God there's no noise. So we'd be three feet thick, right? So we want to minimize our setup when we do our setup. When we set up our speakers and our amplifiers, our pressure producing devices, because remember the room only sees energy. We want to minimize the modal pressure impact, okay? So the treatment that we have in the room will work really better then. Speaker boundary interference effect, less from placing a speaker too close to a wall. Or worse yet, in the corner. Ooh. Low frequency pressure source subs, critical that you position. Stay out of the corners, please. Use the third, rule of third line. Start there. Those are your axes. Don't, don't. Get into the corners or get close to the walls. Just stay in that area right there. Funnel all requirements into a resolution. So we go through all of these things, all of these hoops, if you will, to get resolution. Doing a lot of things in the right order. What's the goal? Well, we're funneling, like you know, an hourglass, the sand. We're starting up here, lots of distortion, we're coming down here into the resolution. Well, the resolution is measured in dBs. When you adjust the gain on your system in your room, well, I don't care what kind of room it is, how much gain do you have to give before it's audible different? different. A lot of these uh, receivers and, and uh, preamps processors today, you know, have half dB or one dB increment increases you can uh in our multiple channel system you can move the energy to the center you can move it to the sides you can move it to the rear you can control the sub gain there's a lot of different ways that you can control the amplitude and the distribution of that throughout the system so that helps with the room right because if you can control the output of all your devices and the position of those devices in the room, you're going a long way to working with the room and not against it. So, so can you hear one dB? Can you hear half a dB? This is the goal we do in our design projects. We try to get the room down to a half dB. You gotta treat all four walls and ceiling, minimum. Probably full floor in some cases to get this kind of resolution. Most of you don't have this, I get this. We're fortunate in our studio. Well, we better be. We're in the business. I hear it down to a quarter dB resolution in both my two channel and the theater. So very high resolution rooms, very lots of treatment, you know, and we'll, we'll walk through that on future videos. Room resolution, I know I talk about this a lot, but it's so important because 
It's why we do all of this. It's why we use all these tactics. This is the strategy. This is the resolution strategy to get down to that half dB. Room resolution, hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.